it is time. This is Infinite Investment Game. I'll talk about alternative investments and collectibles. This is not particularly investment advice, but if you listen to this, you'll be a better collector and you'll make better decisions when it comes to buying collectible, collectibles, specifically sports cards. And this is going to be a great day. Um, we're going to be talking about UFC card 279 and the specific sports cards and going into some of the prices and what do I think and who's going to win. Also, something that I think uh, if you want to hear more about sports cards, collectibles in general, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, obviously, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, I'll probably either do a live stream or a video Monday or the weekend announcing, you know, who won as far as um, that. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. All right. Nate Nate Diaz is a f***ing star. The guy is only accustomed to tough assignments. You can never count him out of anything. Nate Diaz beats Conor McGregor! Nate Diaz, he just shook up the world. And I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. If you ain't taking me out, you're gonna get taken out. Straight up. He is an OG, he is a gangster, but he's tough as fuck. He can take a punch, he can land a punch. And the man really is the epitome of a fighter. I'm here to kill and be killed. So I'm glad I, I waited to do this video. Um, so UFC 279, it was going to be Nate Diaz versus Kamzat Chimaya. Nate Diaz is a veteran um, in UFC, and Kamzat Chimaya is like the new up-and-comer. People are super excited about it. It's almost like the Luka of UFC or, or the Patrick Mahomes. Well, you know, he hasn't won anything yet, but maybe you know, like Mbappe or something like that. Um, that that next guy who could be an all time great um, that is also extremely popular as well, and just is young and has a lot of potential. So, uh, unfortunately, comes out Jeremiah. Uh, this is probably going to hurt him. Um, unfortunately, casuals won't really understand, but he missed weight. Um, probably because of some kind of health issue or a sickness or something, but he's missing weight. And it's not a title fight. So basically what's going to happen is um, everything's been switched around. So uh, basically Kevin Holland is going to be fighting Kamzat Chimaya. I'm going to be honest with you, Kamzat Chimaya is going to win. Um, but he's going to lose a lot of money from this, unfortunately. And, you know, he may have a setback now from getting the title shot. Also because Kamar Usman lost. Uh, you know, it might be a situation where it could be Kamara Usman get a title shot and then maybe Kobe Covington again. We'll see. And then, uh, but this is really good. Nate Diaz versus Tony Ferguson. Before it comes out to versus Nate Diaz, everybody was like, yo, Nate Diaz is going to lose. Um, he just can't keep up with the guy. I mean, unless Kamza is just cocky and he was playing around. Um, and then he just gets caught at the end and he finishes him. But but it's just completely different. So uh, with this, Tony Ferguson, I mean, these both are in the twilight of their career, legendary fighters in a sense, um, going to be fighting. So it's going to be a better showing in a sense. It's going to be very exciting. I'm not talking about, I'm not going to be talking about Tony Ferguson cards uh, just because I don't think long term it's going to have much any value in a sense. Even though he's had a historic career, but he hasn't been an official champion and there's things like that. Even though Nate Diaz haven't either, uh, he has more popularity among people in his card market, and he's the guy who can still carry a main event. All right. So the first card I hear have here is uh 2009 Tops UFC Round One Nate Diaz, and this is the first UFC card. Um, yeah, 
you know, he got him in, uh, looks like in his guard, and maybe he's about to rain an elbow on his head. And this, this card, I mean, bid not too long ago for $19.50, which is very affordable um, compared to most cards that you see out there. Uh, here's the round two. I mean, technically, it's Manny's card, but it has Nate Diaz in it. He's covering up, trying not to get hit in the head. Next, you have 2009. Uh, I really like this card, but 2009 tops UFC round one victory, victorious debut. Um, and then, you know, talks about his 2007 debut um, against Manny. Uh, and he won second round finish. Uh, and you know, one of the first fights, promising young fighter. He, you know, on the Ultimate Fighter season five. Um, that and he won the Ultimate Fighter, so very impressive. And been around for over 10 years, 15 years, 15 years of fighting in the UFC. Him uh doing a guillotine. Um, and then this is when he used to fight at lightweight. Uh this car sold for nineteen dollars, you know, six five, hundred and fifty-five pounds, born in nineteen eighty-five. At the time he was ten and four. Um a lot of personality. Um, this card, if you want to invest, I don't know if Nate Diaz is the best investable guy, but Nate Diaz, uh this is his first autograph card. So this card is worth something, and I think you should. I may just buy it. I mean, it's only $68, $68.99. Hell, uh, it's probably, uh, this one has a bunch of scratches on it, but hell, you know, I can probably buy it, put it in a case, maybe get it graded. It'll probably come out of five or six, but, you know, at least it's in a case. It's not going to be, be as exposed to the elements in a sense. Uh, yeah, Nate Diaz autograph, um, beginning a few weeks ago sold for $68 and 90 cents. Uh, yeah. Uh, next, you know, this is the second autograph to come out, but this is the first time where you see his memorabilia, um, 2010 tops UFC knockout autograph fighter relic. Uh, this is a serial number out of 188 and it is a sticker auto. Unfortunately, not on card, but I mean, there aren't many of these around. Um, I mean, times people ripped it and stuff and played with it or, throwing around right somewhere but people didn't really think this would be collectible first uh top's finest card you know here's gold that's probably one of the best ones to get uh there are others but i want to do the gold this is a 13 top's finest too the top 20, 2012 is, is his first top finest you know really his first chrome card for, for nathan diaz and then here's the x fractors here uh, all blue looking. Then you have 2013 Tops UFC Knockout Dual Autograph with the Matt Relic, um, Nate Diaz and Vincent Henderson. Uh, this is a nice one because Vincent Henderson is a former champion. Uh, I believe they fought, but Nate Diaz lost to him. And yeah, both their autographs, part of that Relic. Uh, these both have made history in the UFC, so it's cool to have a duel. Um, this is more for hardcore fans, but yeah. John 16, top UFC museum collection. This is top first museum collection. I just really like how the cards look and the swatches seem so cool. Uh, it's autographed, serial numbered, and then you also have um, a swatch. Uh, so... It says that this is authentic single single fighter signature swatch dual relic um, autograph card from 2016 Tops Museum and uh, yeah it's not from any specific match or event. In 2017, first year of Topps Chrome. Topps Chrome is always going to be iconic in the sports car market. So, you know, Topps Chrome, I did the green, which is out of 99, which is interesting. Obviously, you can get the blue, I believe, or, or the blue wave out of 75. Gold is out of 50. 25 is orange. Typically, 
And then, you know, you can get black out of 10. 2021 Panini Select UFC Black Prism, Nate Diaz. Uh, this is a one on one. There are others for select and prism. There's been any prism as well, but I didn't talk about it. So, got that. Then you have uh 2021 Panini prism, purple prisms, Nate Diaz. So these two are vertical card. I mean horizontal card. So so keep that in mind. It it may not be as appealing to a lot of people, but most people, from when it comes to sports cards, prefer prefer the vertical cards. Uh, here's another card um, with Nate Diaz in it. Autograph, $22.50. It's not particularly Nate Diaz, but he's in the card. This one, uh, 2021 uh, Panini Immaculate. You'll see Nate Diaz out of 99. Signature auto. Sticker, but it's a high-end set. Uh, 99 well, $99. And this was bidded on uh, not too long ago, uh, four days ago. Sold for $99. And then this 2022 came out, you know, out of 45 sticker autograph. Nate Diaz coming out, um, you know, $127.49. It'll probably go down a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, second year Prism. I, you know, it'll probably be worth less in the future after it retires. So. Uh, and then people kind of forget about him, and, and he won't be a quick flip, and stuff will die down, and maybe he'll pick up again in the future. Am I going to buy Nate Diaz cards? Probably not. Probably not. I'm a fan of his, you know, his fighting and his, you know, whatever, but he doesn't move the needle for me. Um, this person does. Kamzat Chamaya. Yeah. That's scary. Well, Kamzat wants to fight everybody. Yeah. I kill everyone! <laughs> kill everybody! But I'll tell you what, man, that fight with Gilbert Burns got a lot of people brave. A lot of people were more brave after that yeah, fight because he yeah. looked human in that fight. He did. Oh, Hamzat remember, is tall. Remember how he yeah. looked giant back there? Yeah, he's a big guy. He's he's it's very tough weight cut for him, and when he makes it, he's so long. Yeah, and he's so dangerous with his strikes and with his wrestling, with with everything, with everything. And, but the thing that we learned about Hamzat in that fight is uh, he's not just a hammer. He can he can yeah, take it too. Take some damage. Yeah, like when when the nail you know gets hit. Mm -hmm. You know sometimes a fighter is really good until someone puts pressure on them. Right. And then they fold up shop. Yeah. They don't have a lot of resilience. They just right. are very good aggressively. It's called being a front runner. Mm -hmm. And that was a thing in boxing about certain fighters. You know you would always say, well he's good until he's pressed, and then you see his confidence fall yeah. apart, and then. That we saw, we saw none of that with Hamza because Gilbert spun his head around, yeah, and it would have KO'd 99% of the people on the planet. But Hamza immediately dove on after like wobbled, dropped, and he yeah. grabs a hold of a leg and then takes Gilbert down. Yeah. I mean, that's how good he is. Uh, he could be a long term hold or a nice flip, whatever you want to do. Uh, what I say to this is, you know, it's 2021, select UFC Hamza Chimaya, select swatches black prism. 101 PSA 10. Yeah, just part of his glove or part part of his shorts. You know, the shit like his beard, like part of his beard, just like cuts it off. Not too long ago in, in um August. August in August sold for two thousand three hundred and forty dollars. There are a lot of one on ones out there. I mean, that's if you balling, that's what you want to go after. One of ones. Uh the green prism. I don't know if it's a serial number. It's probably not. So far in fifty dollars. I do think this is a bit much, but you know, first cards it got the Ricky logo. I think it's debut should be the thing. Like some of the old cards. Some of them had rookie too, but it, I like debut. But anyway, uh yeah, green $150. Comes out not too long ago. Also, if this is in your budget, you want to get the 2021 Panini Chronicles UFC Black comes out Chimaya rookie. It's SGC 8.5. Obviously, you probably get a nine for 24. Uh, maybe a nine five for 48 and a 10 for 90 or something like that. Comes out to my again four and thirty two dollars for his uh, Panini Prism UFC Blue Wave. It's out of one ninety nine. 
you know, I think this is pretty expensive for PSA eight comes out, but hey, he's he's the hot he's the hot guy right now. Everybody everybody wants him. Twenty twenty one Panini Chronicles UFC Black Pink comes out to my rookie SGC nine. Sixteen dollars, much cheaper. You got this one for $32. Panini Prism UFC Red comes out Chimaya out of 275. SEC 95. Uh, then you have this uh 2021 Chronicles Gold uh comes out Chimaya $1,350. Uh then you have this one. This is probably one of the top cards you can get for him, especially when it comes to Prism. PSA 9 White Sparkle out of 20. Good looking card in my opinion. Passion after you just want to fight four thousand five hundred dollars. Same picture, but a different card. Premier premium box set out of ninety nine SGC nine four hundred dollars bid it on. This one twenty twenty one select UFC comes out to my gold disco PSA nine. Um, one thousand five hundred twenty-seven dollars. Uh, yeah. Select gold. There's a lot of goals though. Um, but yeah, people willing to pay a lot for it. Probably a ten, or probably sell for forty-five hundred, maybe. This one, the blue chronicles. It's optic. You know, it's chronicles, but it's optic. There. Uh, is three hundred and seventy-five dollars a bid. I was only one person bidding on it. It's out of 99, serial number. Something autographed. Somebody autographed a red ink. Uh, apparently, for UFC, a lot of people like the specific ink colors, even if it's not part of the actual card, and they want to get someone like that to sign the card, they normally try to get a blue ink or red ink. Sometimes it's black or green ink, a special different color of ink. Um, that's just become more of the culture. I'm not sure why that is. I know some of the earlier sets, um, they did that. They just changed the ink, and that represents the actual serial number. I think a lot of them, they want to do something different. Uh, so that's probably why. And this is Donra's card, $350. The autograph made it much more, and it's authentic. If it wasn't autographed with ink or whatever, uh, it would probably be a $50 card or something. Select 199 SGC 9, $110. Next, you have this PSA 9 autograph, $227.50. Uh, Chronicles certified uh, pink SGC 10, $64. So that's more affordable. So you all this stuff, $1,000, $4,500. All this stuff that's so expensive. That's more affordable. $64. Bucks. Hey, rookie card. That's more affordable. This is more affordable. Um, maybe go get it graded. Maybe exponentially more. Uh, as far as centering, it may be off a little bit. Top to bottom, I can't really tell. Top to bottom, it seems to be off if they're grading it like that. Um, left to right, it's close. But $43, you may get it graded. PSA 9, maybe it sells for twice that. And yeah, so a lot of other things as far as you have to think about the future when you're buying these guys. Um, for this card, I just want to do these guys' cards because these are the ones that really have the long-term value. Probably the thing with Kamzat is he's still in one of the toughest divisions and it may cause him to move up. Um, the big people he has to worry about move, when it comes to moving up is Robert Whitaker. Uh, which I think is possible for him to beat. And also, you have Israel Asanya and I believe Alex Perea. These two are excellent kickboxers, but they really can't wrestle. They have good takedown defense, but that, I guess it gives you more of a chance. But both those guys, I think, can beat Kamzat if he wants to sit out there and try to stand and fight with them. I don't think it's going to work out with those because those are some of the best kickboxers in the world, like world-class, world champion kickboxers. When it comes to 170, um, 
it could be a uh, foreshadowing that it's hard for him to make weight, which could be a problem. Um, where he may not do one seventy, he just stick to one eighty five. Uh, but for one seventy, it is a wrench in things because he could beat, he could go and fight. And also, I was wrong about the Kamara Usman Leon Edwards fight. Kamara Usman lost. No one really saw that coming. And a lot of champions are getting upset out of nowhere. A lot of new champions. A lot of people changing hands with champions. Uh, but what I would say is, um, if Kamzat fought Leon Edwards, because people want to rematch. But I don't know. I would say um, comes I would beat Leon Edwards and maybe Kamara Usman. People want three match, but the, those who fight each other, and you know, depending on where Kamara Usman's head is, if he's his head is good and he's healthy, even though he's getting older, um, right now I still think he has a little bit of an edge over Kamza just because of experience. And there's Kobe Covington. Um, I haven't seen much of him yet in a, in a while. So who knows how good he's going to be he's getting older as well. But yeah, that's the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll give an update on, on the giveaway for the cards. Uh, maybe I'll stream it. And 